Hey, how you doing? Shoes were always the gateway drug for me. Now, back in the day, what I'm looking for is value at all times, but I know the aesthetic that I like. So I used to choose like that favorite, favorite black toe cap, that loafer, that particular last, and find a price point or a budget for me. One of the key favorites over the years has always been the split toe, the Norwegian split toe derby. Really do like that. Extremely versatile in any gentleman's wardrobe. This is a great, great pair from St. Crispin's. Why wouldn't you want a pair of shoes from Transylvania? Absolutely spot on. Really do like the look, the depth of color. They come with trees in there that are last specific. So yeah, the shoe was built across this last so it's really going to look after them. A beautiful pair of shoes. Because St Crispin's only make something like 120 pairs of shoes a month, the price point is pretty much up there. So you're looking at the bottom end of bespoke shoes, that sort of price range. So yes, an awful lot of money. Now the key thing is for me, and over the years the lesson learned, if you like a certain aesthetic, there will always be a craftsman, there will always be a manufacturer that actually makes shoes that you want at a lower price point. Now, a key idea therefore would be you could search for a split toe derby by Berwick, somewhere in the region of 150 to 175 English pounds, and you can move that up gradually up to right the way up to the bottom end of bespoke if you like. So yes, you can go Lokes. Yes, you can go Carmina, Crockett and Jones, Edward Green, which is a favorite of mine in any regard with regards to a split toe derby, as you know. So my point being, find the aesthetic with that inspiration, then find the price point that fits your budget. I hope that's useful. Hope to speak to you soon.